So the power's out. There's been some kind of disaster or emergency. You're going to need a way to cook food. And you're also going to need a light source. And today, Fire Maple has two cool products that I'm going to bring to you that I think would really help you out. Today, we're looking at the Fire Maple Orange Gas Lantern, the Black Edition, and the Fire Maple Saturn Stove. Let's check them out. So I got some options for you today to take a look at these items and see if you might think they might fit in for you. Um, one of the things I really like is the fact that both of these are useful during an emergency or a disaster. And with the world, what we're seeing in the world today, those are probably pretty much around the corner for all of us. So today we're taking a look at these two items here from Fire Maple. They are not new. Um, they are just new to me. And uh, the Saturn is one I wanted to try for a very long time. This stove is just insane how incredibly uh, hot it gets. But also I wanna take a look at this little Fire Maple orange gas lantern. I'm not sure why they call it orange. Of course it is the black edition. They have a gold or orange one you can buy. I guess that's just the name for it. But it's small and convenient and super lightweight. It's 140 grams, I believe. Doesn't take up much space in your bag. Doesn't take up much space in your preps if you're prepping with a limited area. And it puts off a nice, warm, relaxing glow that LED lights just can't do. I mean, if you were with me in the studio right now, you'd see all these lights blasting down at you. Just isn't the same as a nice, warm fire glow. Another neat thing about this is the fact that this allows you to use up your isobutane canisters. Um, if you're like me, especially since I do a lot of stove demos on the channel, you probably have 20 or 30 of these things lying around with like that much gas in it, all right? You know, you're obviously not gonna take it out with you anywhere because you're gonna run out of gas uh, or, or you're gonna carry two or three of them that are half full, you know, you have to keep changing them. And you're obviously not gonna use it at home when you're like, for me, when I'm demoing a new stove, I'm not gonna use a half used thing. That thing goes out in the middle of a boil test, doesn't look too good. So this allows you to use Use these up and this really the other one actually have out here actually has less these really have hardly anything in them um, you can barely hear something sloshing around in there so it allows you to use up your old isobutane canisters and it will run for a very long time I believe they say on a full canister it runs for 24 hours that's pretty darn good and that's at full blast now full blast the flame will be coming out of this little glass tube kind of works like this you'll notice there's an opening here to light it you can switch that around after so if you don't want that opening there this does come off okay it is glass but it is very well protected and the way they ship it to you will be in this little plastic container there so you'll just drop it in there and if you really feel nervous about it getting bounced around you could always wrap a paper towel around it but all in all, I think it's a pretty neat system. Of, of course, your gas level over here will be right on the side, folds up against it. Um, you will notice it's very hard to turn when you first get it. Don't worry, you're not going to break it. I would say turn it down at the bottom here to start with. Okay, That way you won't have any problems. So what we're going to do is connect this to this. Just screw on the propane canister here, the isobutane canister, I'm sorry. And we're going to try this thing out. So let me get this all connected for you and all set up, and we'll bring you right back. All right, so I got it screwed on there. I'm obviously, I don't have to light it like that now. What I'm going to do is just take your little cover here, pop it down over there, and that gives me that open area there to put my match in. So, you guys remember these, right? We're so used to using ferro rods and lighters. Sometimes we forget about matches. Turn on just a little bit. You see how high it goes, all right? Now, of course, you can take that down to a really nice low flame. And the cool part about these things is they're not super expensive. Now, if you don't want that open glass there before it runs too long, because it'll get very, very hot, you can switch it around like that and kind of have a little bit of a protected front there. But uh, it also protects it from wind as well. So what I'm going to do is turn off the lights here, and at least the top light, and let you see just how that looks. Looks pretty nice. I'm going to try and get the rest of these lights off here, at least the brighter ones. Turn that one down. Turn this one off. That way we just have one light left. Hold on. And there we go. So you got a nice warm glow from that. And it's bright enough that you can work around it if you had to turn it up a little bit. Like that, say. 
So you could work around that. It is very convenient. Doesn't mean you have to carry a big lantern with you or some kind of big LED lantern. Works very, very well for what it does. All right, let's get the lights back on. I'll give you a little more information on this and then we'll get into the stove. So next up, we have the Saturn gas stove and this thing is pretty darn awesome. Okay, this thing puts out anywhere between 4,400 watts to 11,000 watts of power. Delivers all the heat you're going to need. It can withstand heavy pots ranging from 25 to 30 centimeters in diameter. We're going to be doing a boil test with two cups of water using this guy here. One of the neat features of this, and I was kind of worried about it at first because it looked weird. When you put this down, these sides move in and they tend to grip it. So that's not going anywhere. Once these sides move in on it, that's stuck in place and not going anywhere. So it is a very secure kind of environment. Um, they do offer a grill with this. I believe it's a portable grill pan. And it's kind of like a flat surface, flat iron kind of pan that just sits on it. And you can grill on that. It has some grill ridges on it. This also has dual preheat tubes on either side. So for those of you folks worried about, you know, cold weather and these not working well because of the isobutane, um, with the preheat tubes, that kind of keeps the gas heated up as it's being circulated. So the gas will never really suffer from too much of a problem because it's always being preheated after being sent down here. You will notice this does have a very long thing, so you can keep this away far away if you're concerned about safety. That's a neat feature for those of you who might be worried about keeping it too close to this. This will get hot on the surface around here. It does come with a very nice storage case over here. This is the case here. So it's a very nice, secure case. It is a little bit of a heavy stove. It weighs about 2.2 pounds. Unfolded, it's 9.8 inches by 4.6 inches. And folded, it's going to be 7 inches by 3.6 inches, okay? This is definitely a neat little system. So what we're going to do is get two cups of water in this pot here. And we're going to boil it and see how fast this thing works. All right, so we've got our brand new isobutane canister connected there. Much easier to use a brand new one for a demo. And I've got my pot here and my two cups of water. As you can see there, just pour that in there. Okay. Now this does have a piezo igniter, so that is very handy. You don't have to go, you know, put your hand up there with a lighter or something. Lights very, very quickly. I'm going to turn it on just a little bit. There you go. I don't know if you can see the flame. Yeah, you can. I can see it through the monitor. If I can see it through the monitor, you'll definitely see it. So what we're going to do is put this on here. And I'm going to start my timer here, on here. I'm going to put it on here, and I'm going to turn it all the way up. Get in there. There we go. And we're going to start it off. So let's see how long that takes. I don't have anything to cover it, so I'm probably going to use just the top pan here to try and cover it and see if that, uh, that will speed it up a little bit. Somebody had mentioned that before, that I didn't cover the pan, and it would have been a faster boil time. So let's get that done right now and i will bring you back when it's done it's also burning my rubber there so i got to turn it down a little bit i'll bring you back when it's done well it looks like i'm gonna have to sacrifice this pan because it's kind of small but we got a minute and 53 seconds on this thing let me turn it off you have to sacrifice the rubber on there because it was kind of small but that's two cups of water in a minute and 53 seconds that is really fast um, no big deal on that. It'll survive. No big, uh, no big deal. You know, I don't really use those anyway. Uh, it probably could have used a bigger pan. I could have used a bigger pan on it, but eh, it works. No big deal. So anyway, very, very impressive. So let me uh, move all this stuff out of the way and we'll finish up the video. So as you can see, that stove is pretty darn awesome. That was really amazing. Uh, we had a one minute, 53 second boil time um, with the sacrifice of the little plastic handle on my pot there. But it would work for, you know, again, when this stuff happens, you're going to be using the pans in your home. It's not like I want people to run out for emergency cooking type situations and go buy camping pans. You're going to be using the pots and pans you use regularly. And this is a perfect, you know, size for a 12 or 14 inch pan that you might be using or a pot, whatever. It'll definitely work. And I do like the fact that with the smaller pots, it just kind of nestled it right in there. It just kind of takes it right in there flat, goes, like, goes flat like that. And it has cooled off already, by the way. So that's a plus too. I don't like things that stay hot for very, very long times because then you can't move if you have to move. So you can definitely use heavier pots on it. it has that portable grill, which we're going to probably try out next. I want to try out that grill and see how, what it's like. It's almost like a, a flat kind of grill, but it has some raised grill marks on it. So we'll definitely give that a shot. And this thing, again, it's just been running the whole whole video. 
and it's still going strong without any kind of stopping. I'm going to see how long it lasts, but they say, according to them, a full can will give you 24 hours of lighting, and again, it can be turned up or down, you know, if you need more light or less, and I think it's just a very handy little thing to have. It's very fairly safe inside. I wouldn't worry about using this indoors. It's not really putting out much of anything as far as anything you need to worry about. This, I'd probably keep, you know, in a well-ventilated area. If you're going to use it indoors, they say do not use these indoors. I would say if you're going to do it, do it where there's well got a lot of ventilation. Me personally, I put out two, two Coleman double burner camp stoves during power outages and cooked on them. Then again, I have a home with very high ceilings. Um, the side door was always open to my back little screened in room. So there was always fresh air you know circulating so definitely be careful if you do decide to use it indoors but now is definitely time to think about getting a way to cook um in your home if you have an electric stove a lot of folks have them and you know when the electricity goes out you're out of luck and as we're seeing with world events heating up every day um it's definitely time to start getting serious about having backups for your normal everyday life uh be it cooking be it power whatever definitely want to start checking that out now i will have links down at the bottom to fire maple's website you can search for either the saturn gas stove or the orange gas lantern like i said it comes in three different colors lantern runs about 29.96 so that's a lot cheaper than a bunch of others i've seen online uh, i do have a discount code for you guys you can save some money it's iridium 242 that's just my name 242 you know um, i will put it down below so you can copy and paste it and the link to fire maple's website will be down below as well don't forget to check that out don't forget to check out our amazon affiliate store folks we got um an amazing deal coming up tomorrow all right and i want to let you know about it now it's coming from ecoflow amazing deal coming up tomorrow uh, for prime day so definitely check out our link down below our amazon affiliate store uh, we're gonna have a lot of good deals going on in there uh, you can even just bookmark the link and shop and use it every time you shop we do appreciate when you do that it helps us bring more cool gear to you and our freeze-dried wholesaler site again the world is heating up things are getting wild get yourself some good storage food that you can use in the event of an emergency freeze-dried wholesalers has everything from cheesecake to steaks to filet mignon to you know all sorts of stuff pies you name it it's freeze-dried ready for you to rehydrate and eat so definitely check them out my link will save you 15 percent just for using that link no codes no nothing just click the link and shop as you normally would our my patriot supply link that's prepare with iridium.com we got that two-week emergency food kit on sale 127 dollars 25 year shelf life 10 different varieties of food 2,000 calories a day. You got breakfast, lunches, and dinners for 114 servings. That's two weeks of food for you right there. It's on sale this week, this month for $127. So check them out. And our Thrive Life freeze-dried food store. I have a Thrive video coming up pretty soon. We're probably going to be using this stove to cook with it. <laughs> and I thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and stay prepared.